Welcome to Shovelware Diggers. Our dig team is currently excavating the SoftKey Shareware 2000 Hit Games 2CD Collection. You can find a link in the video description containing the entire directory structure of this archive. It's week 51, and these are the games our diggers have for us today. For more information on how to join the dig team, simply head on over to the Patreon page linked in the video description. Now without further ado, let's begin. First up, Captain Crazy Hats dug up win games backslash WC backslash orbital. Somehow I got a funny feeling that we're not going to be shooting things down with orbital lasers or something, but... Oh, then, you know, bank shot, bomb squad, and follow me. That's weird. Three executables and none of them seem to have anything to do with orbital stuff. Oh, the company that made it is called Orbital Software. Fair enough. Uh, thanks for downloading this package. Please note the change of address above and move since for last year's in this program. Probably not going to be there anymore after this many years. Should have four files included. Bomb Squad, Bank Shot, and Follow Me. Okay. VB Run 300 is required. I believe that's already in the Windows Sys. Author is Michael Guzzo. Or Michael Guzzo. Or something like that. Please set... Uh, me a postcard from your hometown or any other seating place if you enjoy all these games. No shareware fees here, just a minute of your time and however much the postcard's worth. So it's basically freeware, it's just the guy's asking you to send him a postcard if you like his stuff. Fair enough. So it's basically three games here for the price of one. Or the price of free. Something like that. Let's see what Bag Shot is. Uh, interesting. So, let's minimize this stuff. Very basic help file. It's not even um, not even a Windows help file. So basically, we're just trying to get the puck into this zone. I'm guessing. How do we do this? Oh wow, that goes fast. Um, let me turn the cycles down here. Okay, I've got the cycles turned down, but it still goes pretty fast despite that. Okay, so you've basically... Hmm. So maybe I want a little less friction? Okay, that was too much. Okay, this game is hard. But then it's a sort of physics-type game, and I'm generally not a big fan of physics-type games. So I'm going to be terrible at this no matter how good it... how well designed it is. Okay, so it's basically, you're just pulling back on the puck, letting go, and hope that it re gets into the specific area you want. You can set rebound and friction. Doesn't even matter too much, but you only get three shots. Well, it's very basic, but then, given the fact that it's free, like, I mean, you can't really complain. It does work. Okay, let's see what other games are in here. A Bomb Squad. Uh... Click a terminal to start. What am I even trying to do? Oh, there's sound effects. Oh, this ought to be good. <laughs> I'll click this terminal. Pick another terminal. Uh, this one? You got one wire right. Nope, that one makes the clock go faster. And boom. Sorry, those are the wrong wires. Correct wires are one and five. So how do you even play this? Another terminal. Whoop. That one just instant death. <laughs> so it's basically just a game of luck from the looks of it. Okay, so this game is just flat out luck. You are a hero in the police chief's eyes. What, did I win? Okay, Bomb Squad is just nothing but luck. That, that's, that one's forgettable. And follow me. Oh, is this going to be Simon? Yeah, it's going to be Simon. Has very basic sound. It might not even be working correctly. You know, one of the things that helps when you're playing a Simon-type game is having musical skills. Because it kind of ties in with it to a degree. Whoops, I accidentally clicked out of the... Oh, it missed a click. It's so missed a click from when I was clicking there. 
Yeah, I see what's going on now. Okay, so the game is sometimes giving you the same one multiple times in a row, but because it's been obviously been written in Visual Basic, it's not detecting s- double clicks as a single click. So here's what ends up happening. If I start following the sequence, single click, single click, single click, single double, notice how it missed it. But I have to put three of these in a row, so I have to do them slowly so that it doesn't count them as double clicks. So that's kind of an oversight and makes this a lot harder than it should be because that means you have to intentionally slow yourself down and people are going to forget that anyways. So you've basically made a Simon game with a major bug. (laughs) That's, no, that's not going to fly that well. So follow me. It works, but has a glaring oversight for what it is. So... Sorry, I can't recommend that one for anybody who likes Simon-type games. But that was basically everything from the Orbital Software guy. Bankshot was okay, Bomb Squad was all luck, and Follow Me has a glaring bug with it that just makes it really hard to play. So, I don't know. It's free software, so, like, I mean, you can't really complain too hard. Especially, well, it came out in 94, so, like, I mean, we're only a year away from Windows 95, so, I don't know. Again, it's free stuff, so you don't generally shouldn't be too hard on free software, considering what it t- took to make that stuff in the first place, but I can't say this is the greatest free software I've seen. Next up, Jim has dug up DOS games backslash arcade 2 backslash oil cap 61. Another oil-based game from the looks of it. At least that's what I'm assuming. Um, Solsoft? We have a solo software game again. Um, let's type the file ID. Because why not? Oil cap. EGA VGA requires mouse. EGA VGA requires mouse. Makes it even more likely it's from solo software. So, oil cap 6. Yep, solo software. I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. So, presents oil cap. Programmed by William Slow, so it's one of the ones he made, as opposed to one of the other people. Because Slow Software did have more than just William Slow doing stuff, but... Press any key to start. Oh, so it's a... Wait, why can I only move the mouse in this tiny square? Uh, that was weird. Why does it only let me move the mouse in such a small area? So it's basically Pipe Dream, as far as I can tell so far. Oh, and there comes the fluid. Had to happen sooner or later. This is giving me a lot of curvy pieces. Now, so far, it's un- aside from the very weird way it's doing the controls, it's plain like, like you would expect. Yeah, I know, I've set myself up for a dead end here, but I'm hoping that it's... Well, actually, how do you speed it up? Oh, you just hit spacebar. That's it? I just move on to level two. Okay. So, uh, what's the actual goal then? <laughs> there doesn't seem to be a help sys- function or anything. Um, I'm going to take a look at the help documentation to see what's up with this. Okay, so I looked through the documentation, and it turns out that the way you determine if you move on to the next level or not is based on how many points you have, and the game doesn't actually tell you how many points you need. You have to use a math equation to figure it out. So that's kind of dumb. But Solo Software produced a whole bunch of games using the whole pipe dream mechanic and everything, so... This may have been their first one, in which case, they've done better, (laughs) for sure. But this one in particular, it works, but not that sort of level of not knowing what's going on. And the whole fact that the piece disappears when you click on it before you place it onto the grid, like, that's kind of weird. So, I don't know. This one's below average for a Pipe Dream game, for sure, but at least it's playable. And to finish things off, Seth Tierney's dug up DOS games backslash arcade2 backslash 
L Y A H T? I'm not really sure about this one. M Y. You know, it kind of looks like. It almost seems like the last part of the word is like Yahtzee. So maybe this is like a Yahtzee game. Maybe? Let's see. Microlink presents Yacht, the traditional dice game, because Yahtzee is trademarked. No, seriously, Yahtzee is a trademarked word. <laughs> so that's why so many games that use the Yahtzee format can't actually call themselves Yahtzee. And those which do are often violating that trademark. Um, how many players? One. And that'll be me. There was a loud noise outside, so we will ignore that. May the PC play. Sure, why not? More the merrier. So, let's see here. So, I do get a second roll. So, let's see. I'm going to keep... Or take die. So, the ones I re-roll are the ones that are not yellow. Okay. So, roll two. Or no, I re-rolled those ones. I get a third roll? Cool, let's re-roll those. Okay, so... I kind of don't want to waste my three of a kind on that, but... Eh. Yeah, I'll put it in the ones. And he put that in the sixes. So... Oh nice, I got a small straight already. So let's just keep trying for a large straight. Small straight. So one thing I don't like is that it's not showing all the player's scores simultaneously. So it only shows you your own score. That kind of doesn't give you a good way of seeing how you're doing versus your opponent. Uh, let's do that. Uh, oh! I actually got a four of a kind. Let's fill that one in. Okay, so actually when I'm on this screen, there's some options I can do here. Um, all scores? Okay, so you can push all scores to see to see the full score table. So I guess that's nice. Um, AI's winning right now. Let me put one of his ones in the chance, so I haven't had to do that yet. Can I re-roll, like, all of them? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, ooh. Let's go for a full house. And I for already forgot that it re-rolls the... <laughs> Damn it. That's one of the things I hate about these kinds of games in general, is that it's always a different mechanic as to which ones you keep and which ones you don't keep. Like, to me, highlighting them in yellow should mean you want to keep them. But the way this game works, highlighting them in yellow means you want to re-roll them, and it keeps them by default. Like, it's different for every game that does this kind of mechanic. Like, even draw poker games and stuff, like... Ugh, I know. I shouldn't complain about something like that, but... It bugs me. <laughs> um, we're gonna put this one in the chance. Wait, he just got four fives. Why wouldn't you put that in your four of a kind? I don't know. I don't think the AI is playing very good. Oh, we got some sixes action going. Let's go for the sixes. Oh, three sixes. Uh, we'll put that in three of a kind. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. We already have a large straight. <laughs> oh, he just got his full house. That's not good. That's one of the harder ones to get. Oh, I got four of a kind again. But I've already used my four of a kind, so sixes. That'll be a good sixes score. Oh, I am dominating him right now. Oh, yeah. Um, what haven't I played yet? See, well, he hasn't played his big ones yet, but that's just gonna make things harder for him. Like, you wanna get those big ones out of the way as soon as you can and leave your numbers, your number ones for like when you absolutely don't have anything else to do. That's just my opinion though, I could be wrong. And he just wasted his large straight. Oh, that's not gonna go good for him. Well, it's less likely I'll get the Yahtzee, so take a zero there. That's the hardest one to get anyway, so... 
Well, he got his four of a kind. Oh man, <laughs> that did not go well. Or actually, we're close to a we're close to a full house there. So let's just hope for a one or a six. It's a thirty-three percent chance. Screw it. We're just going to nix the full house. You know, I've probably already beaten him. <laughs> I didn't get a single five again. Okay, I got one five. Can we get one more? Okay, so we got ten points out of that one. So I ended with 196. Oh, but apparently there's a bonus that go comes into play. Okay, why did he get 35 bonus points? That doesn't make any sense. Where did the bonus come from? I guess I gotta refresh my rules on Yahtzee or something. So yeah, that was Yacht, or ML Yacht, Microlink Yacht, by Bob Lancaster. I don't know if this would be, like, is this free software or not? I don't actually know. Like, I mean, there was nothing in here about registration or anything, I don't think. Or wait a minute. Thanks for you, thanks, thanks you for playing Yacht? That can't be right. We are a group of microcomputer users who have linked our resources together to share knowledge, thus enhancing our computing experience. Feel free to give our BBS a call to find out more about us. Author welcomes any comments, questions, suggestions, or complaints. Donations is appreciated, but by no means required. So that was actually free software. So yeah, so it even says, please share a copy of this game with your friends. So, Microlink Yacht, as opposed to Yahtzee. Very basic. Plays perfectly fine. Aside from the fact that I was screwing up the keeping or re-rolling, but that's my fault. That's not the game's fault. So, yeah, this one's actually pretty fun. So I'd say check this one out. Especially if you like dice games. I don't know, I like, like dice games.